Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I got this bike Yusuda. As you can see on the back, it's the box is not as big because this is not a regular electric bike or it's not bike like for outdoor. It's mostly for indoor. This is a stationary bike to keep you up in shape when you cannot go biking your regular bike. Or if you cannot go because of the job you work at home sometimes you can work at home while you're biking as well like I do so this will be very useful for me and maybe for you I'm gonna do unboxing quickly and show you more about this bicycle the bicycle comes very well packed as you can see and there's no damages even the box was damaged outside but inside all well brought the bike upstairs because i'm gonna have it over here i think it's a great place so you can look in a window or just um, enjoy the view um, so this bicycle didn't come assembled you have to assemble but it shouldn't be that hard i think so it comes with few parts as you can see and i already went through some of them and i want to show you close up so it comes with all the tools you need which is good it comes with a manual which uh, not bad actually and first thing you would need to attach this two stabilizer but before attaching i want to show you oh, underneath over here it's alignment so when you turning this knob it will move up and down this alignment from both sides on both stabilizer this way you're gonna align later on if you put it on a hard surface i'm gonna have it on carpet i will see if i need it to align most likely not but also it comes with the two wheels over here so it can be easily uh, rolled back to the storage if you need to or move around your house so it's pretty cool going by step which is pretty easy uh, so first you would need to get this rear stabilizer and uh, front stabilizer attach these two pieces as i showed before and once you attach them you would have to attach um, pedals but i'll show you how to do it it shouldn't be that hard well let's start it and you would attach these two bolts from the bottom from here, from this side, like this. Okay. And then you just lift up a little bit this bike, insert it. Use this two washer to put on top of this and then you use this two nuts or cover I call it tight nut I do everything by hand first it would be easy and I'll show you close up how it looks so that's how it's gonna look from both sides and you repeat the same thing on the front so you got these two carriage bolts it's uh, only the, there's only five I think the one is just in case just as backup and this side gonna be you insert from this side so basically you'll see this uh, piece then it's from this side you insert it okay should be very simple and then you would attach it with the wheels outside and lift it up and insert it okay it will stay so basically you can do by yourself or you can another person hold it so there is two washer you insert you put on top first and then you use this nut to tighten up and you do everything by hand first once you attach it with the tighten up with the hands then you can use a tool to tighten up better okay uh, since you attach this to stabilizer and make this bike standing i'll show you how up position okay and now it's time to attach the pedals 
The pedals comes, as you can see, right, the right, left with the left, let L over here. The right side on this side, and left side on this side. So you have to remove this uh, nut first before attaching the pedal. So you remove this nut first and then you attach the pedal. So once you attach the pedal, then you attach this nut on the other side over here. It's safety nut, I guess, uh, so you will not the pedals will not fall off while you're pedaling. Alright, so this pedal is down. Then you do the same thing on another side. And then we are on the step number three. So we're attaching the seat post. So you take the seat post, uh, make sure it's all the way out, push it out like this, pull it out, and then insert the seat post. Okay. And once you attach it, you can actually secure it. The next step will be attaching the seat. Uh, so first you need to attach this piece. So you will move up and down. Once you put it in, you reattach it. So this way you tighten up whatever how close to the handlebar you want, so it's moving about 5 inches, like 3 inches. You tighten up, take a wrench, you just unscrew it a little bit, not a lot, and do on both sides. Okay, and just insert it. So once you insert it, you can adjust it to make it sit straight, unless you want under angle. And then you tighten up this ball, the nuts over here. The next step, you need to install this handlebar uh, post. And it looks uh, like this part is going to be to the front, like this. You basically just insert it. Then you're attaching this knob on the side. Okay. It says clockwise. Okay. So it will stay this way. The next step is handlebar. So you use this knob and over here is a hole. You insert it and just attach it. And you can move it up and down depend what position you want. I missed one of the washer underneath over here. So basically I'm gonna remove it now. I'm gonna remove it. Put this washer over here and reattach it. Then you need to attach this iPad holder or tablet holder on this side over here. You would need to attach with a few screw. So you would use this uh, two small bolts and two washers, two balls. They come with three just in case, I guess. You just need two. So you take one and take one washer, put over here and just attach it uh, on the side, one side. Then you do the same thing on another side. And I always do with hand first. And then you'll use a X key and um, tighten up. This uh, can be moved up and like to depend on how wide your tablet or iPad. Now it's time to attach the display, but before attaching, I'm gonna insert the two batteries right over here. It should be very simple. Insert one over here. One over here. It makes some beep, it means it's working. Right here, this is display. Pretty cool. Now you will insert it right over here. Basically, you don't really need to have any tools. You just, I believe, you just push it down, slide it. 
That's it. It's very simple and it's attached. You will attach this cable to monitor. You basically just pull it out from here. I didn't see any place where you can put it. Probably you can put in this hole over here and then uh, reattach it uh, somehow on the back. So my first impression it's pretty good uh, and not only it looks really cool and fit my uh, the design but also the seat it's very soft with some spring over here so give you some suspension uh, also some ventilation uh, for spinning you don't really need to have that comfortable seat but if you are not standing up it's pretty much nice seat fully adjustable you can move this piece up or backward also you can move the seat up and down a little bit if you need to this pedals comes with some clips uh, whatever they call them up i think they call clips these pieces also the bottle holders you can put bottles over here so this knob is uh give you more tension depends how much resistance you need and it's very quiet but here the magnet resistance when you're turning this on you'll hear this piece will start to move closer or we can move up this uh, flywheel is about 40 pounds weight so far the quality looks really good the handlebar really nice a more professional handlebar you have over here you can uh, put ipad or maybe to put phone to watch whatever you have like it's pretty much adjustable from both sides so the display you can see it but if it's too bright it's a bit hard to see but again um, i don't think you need as bright room when you do biking i think it's too bright just for video i made it but other than that it's good it's also adjustable you can bring up or down your handlebar and move back or forward so finally assembled so uh, i think it takes about 15 to 20 minutes if you do it non-stop since i did this video it took me longer but i'm not using any microphone i'm using right now gopro so you will hear the voice and also how the machine works. Basically, this magnetic bike exercise, the difference is the one I have before, you would hear how the wheel spinning and also all this kind of resistance noises. With this machine, since it's magnetic, untouchable, so it's, there's no connection, no touching, so it makes no noise. So let me show you even i spin really hard like for example it will not make much noise so you can exercise 24 7 basically anytime daytime nighttime when your kids sleep nobody will hear you even your neighbors even downstairs because it's very silent that's why it's a great exercise bike it is fully adjustable and this exercise bike design up to 350 pounds as you can see a little bit sweaty not because i exercise right now just because it's very hard inside since i turn off air ac so you can hear only me and no other noise because this machine it's very quiet exercise bike and it's great for indoor you can also have it outdoor if you want to but i'll keep it indoor of course with ac on it should be real nice you can use ipad you can use any tablet to put in this place and watch it movies you can put a front of your tv and i'm gonna keep it over here to see beautiful view on my neighbors and i think that's all about it um i might make another video of review but so far my first impression is really good high quality materials they use and everything was easy to assemble uh, you can comment below if you have any questions so far so good please hit like 
and subscribe to my channel and you'll see more videos like that thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video see you later